Hi, and welcome to Edwards Leisure. I'm Andy, and today I have the pleasure to talk to you about this 2015 plated Bursner Ixio Time IT726 Sovereign coach built motorhome. It has all the quality and finish you would expect from a high end German manufacturer. It's based on a 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower, six speed manual Fiat Ducato. It has a length of 7.41 metres, a height of 2.75 metres, and a width of 2.3 metres. It was first registered on the 1st of March 2015 and has only covered 16,426 miles. It has four berths and four travel seats, making it a great couples or family motorhome. The real beauty though with this motorhome is that it has two habitation areas, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's take a look inside. In the cab, we have all the equipment you would expect from Fiat, such as cruise control, traction plus, electric heated mirrors, a CD Bluetooth media center with nav, plus a reversing camera. We also have cab air conditioning, front electric windows, driver and passenger airbags, and a good size skylight above the cab. Also, both captain seats swivel to maximize the whole of the 7.14 meter footprint. This is a really good size lounge. The problem with a lot of Continental motorhomes is the sliding table in the dinette area, which makes it very difficult to get around. By attaching the table to the wall, it gives you a bigger bench seat for your passengers. And of course, it's far easier accessibility around the table. It's not the big problem that you're always having to step around. Now, don't get me wrong though, you still have to get to the captain seats, and then you enter a different debate fixed dinette or non-fixed dinette? That really is the question, and one that everyone will have their own answer to. Fixed dinette or not, this is a great entertaining area. It's really spacious, and with the leather upholstery, it feels very luxurious. As for sleeping arrangements, in this area, we have the drop-down bed above, which comes down really easily like so. Simply pop the key in and we press the button. Like I said, really easy. We also have two singles in the rear, which I'll come to in a minute. But the fact that we have these two different rooms is invaluable if you're thinking of touring. Sometimes you just need your own space and being able to leave this area and go and have a lie on the bed in the rear to process your own thoughts can be a real sanity saver. It's a great option in a van that's just a touch over seven meters. The kitchen is compact, but well spaced out, giving you work surface space, a good amount of storage, three gas hobs, a sink, oven grill, and this large three-way fridge freezer. Over on this side, we have access to the washroom. Here we have the 12 volt control panel. And here in the bedroom, we have the controls for the Truma heating system, which is a combined gas and electric unit. Now, if we go back to the habitation door, you can see here we have full fly screen and of course a bin just at the bottom of the door. The washroom is a very clever design. As you can see, we have a large wash basin good storage lockers, a big mirror, cassette toilet, and most importantly, plenty of space. Now, most people only ever tend to use the toilets, then use the site facilities for showering. So not necessarily in need of a large shower area. However, by unclipping just on the wall there, it revolves around leaving you with a very good sized shower area. This is a fantastic compromise on space and should mean it caters for most people's needs and wants, whether you use the site facilities or your own. The rear bedroom is a real plus point for me. Two exceptionally comfortable single berths with a place to put your bits and pieces in the centre. Above, we have good locker space, and below, we have a deceptively spacious wardrobe on this side, a large cupboard space on this side.
When we look around the exterior of the Ixio Time IT726 Sovereign, you can see we have the Grigio Grey cab and striking graphics. An awning, awning light, alloy wheels, and double glazed windows. We also have a good sized gas locker, a tow bar with electrics, and this large garage. Again, it's a massive benefit if you're touring or have bikes or scooters to pack away. This model comes incredibly well specced with features such as the Truma heating, remote central locking, two habitation areas and an oven grill, to name but a few of the items. The real beauty of this motorhome though is the fact that it is only 3,500 kilograms, meaning you don't need a C1 license. This motorhome is a great all-rounder, large enough to tour for months on end but short enough to use for weekend trips. For a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website, or why not give us a call? It really is worth a view, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.